The other day, I had to string out a couple hundred feet of airline um, to pump up a tire in my truck that's on the other side of the property. After running with the air hose, I said, man, there's gotta be a better way. So this is the air compressor that I have that broke a while back and I haven't thrown it away and it's really no good for anything except for scrap metal. But for me, I see more value in this than just scrap metal. So I kind of converted this into a vertical air tank that I can pump up, it's 13 gallons. I'll be able to pump up and I'll have a supply of air that I can roll around the property and keep my vehicle's tires filled up. And a lot of you guys out there have tractors and stuff, and you, maybe you have a ranch or something. Um, something like this would be perfect for that. Um, also, it will be good for um, if you have a um, project where you need some air, like if you wanna run a couple nails somewhere, um, you could fill this up with air and take it with you. So another thing that somebody could use a broken air compressor like this for is if you have a small air, if you have a small pancake air compressor or a small air compressor, um, six gallons or 10 gallons or even 20 gallons, and you wanna add a little bit more volume to it, a broken tank like this, a broken compressor, is, is a good candidate for that situation. Um, now, one thing, if you do a search on Google and you read about um, air tanks or something, what was I searching? Um, but I'll basically do air, air compressor explosion. You'll see a lot of people, they'll be mucking around with their tanks. A lot of people die from that. So I don't intend on doing any welding on the tank even though I want to. But what I will do is I'll do some welding around on some of these legs because I had to do some modifying on it. Um, so I had to advise everybody and, and take note for myself is if it has any rust or if there's any visible rust on there, don't use a tank like that. It's no good. If it's old and it's rusty, throw it out. It's just not worth it because if you look at the Google images, people, um, their shops explode block walls completely explode from compressed air. So it could be pretty dangerous. Um, but something like this is gonna be really easy to do. So keep watching, it's gonna be awesome, and you're gonna like what you see. So with this unit here, I don't really know what's saveable except for this, this piece of metal. Other than that, I don't really think any of it's any good. Yeah, yeah. So the wheels came off like nothing. There's really nothing to it. Um, these are good wheels. I would like to get bigger wheels because that would help my project go along much quicker if I had some 12 inch wheels. These are only eight, but nonetheless, I'm reusing these. Instead of having the wheel here in this position, because it's gonna become a vertical tank, I have to bring these wheels here now past this here by a little bit. So now when I'm all done, this wheel needs to be mounted something like this. That means I'm, I'm gonna have to um, add some material onto here, some metal, and um, have a mounting point down this way, about three or four inches past. Yeah, there's water in here. Ugh some muck. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna take it outside, give it a good wash down. I'll take the air hose, or I'll take the air hose, I'll take the water hose um, with a with a nozzle on it and try to squirt down and get all the muck, any muck that's been in there, cleaned up and um, flushed out of the system. So next time you see this tank, it's gonna be nice and shiny. Well, at least it'll be clean, it won't be shiny. So it cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, this is gonna be a good candidate. When I'm all done, It'll stand up vertical like this. I'm gonna modify the wheels right now. I'm gonna add a plate to this, add wheels to it, figure out how I'm gonna make it stand like this, peel the stickers off, get it painted. Let's go.